Just walked into a men's warehouse to just get a simple bow tie or a tie. First question, do you have a mask? No, sir, I don't, but I'm not sick. Okay, sir, but we still need you to wear a mask. Okay, have a nice day. Holy Spirit stops me instantly when I walk back, and I'm like, you know what? I got a message for you. And I told them that it was the mark of the beast. I'm not concerned about who disagrees with me. I'm not. I'm not concerned about who thinks I'm crazy. I'm not concerned about anybody that doesn't think that it's the mark of the beast. The children of God have been shown this in dreams and have fasted and prayed about this and have prayed that if we're deceived, then show us the truth and keep coming back to the same conclusion. Notice that the rights are being taken away without a mask, without the vaccine. Everybody that thinks it's a precursor, you can't buy without a mask in a lot of places. Vaccination card allows you to fly you know, to a lot of different places. It's the mark of the beast, regardless of what you believe. The children of God have been shown this, and I explained to him that it was the mark. And I told them that they need to stay close to Jesus Christ and that if they believe in their heart and confess with their mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and repent of their sins, they will be saved. Souls are at stake. Don't be afraid. Ask the Holy Spirit for boldness. It's getting really real. Even in the state of Maine, where you wouldn't think that this would be happening. But I'm telling you, it's going to ramp up real, real fast. Real fast. You better be close to Jesus. You better not be playing around with sin. I love you guys in Jesus' name. Be strengthened and encouraged by His Word and stay in His Word daily. Amen. In Jesus' name.